Hi everyone, today I have a review of the frying pan that I've been using for the past year. This is a non-stick frying pan by T-Fall which features their thermospot technology which is basically a red indicator in the middle of the pan that turns a solid red when the entire surface of the pan is evenly heated. So this frying pan I would consider more of an entry level, it's definitely not something that chefs would use, um, but it's a good price. I would think you can find it on Amazon for around $20. As usual, I'll put the link in the description for you guys to check it out. The pan I'm reviewing here is the 10.25 inch diameter size. But actually when I first got it, I got a knockoff um, pan actually that was meant to imitate the T-Fall but was actually not. So then I bought it again just to make sure and this time I bought it from Amazon itself, a little bit more expensive. And there's definitely a night and day difference. If you can't tell, the authentic one is on the right and the counterfeit one is here on the left. So I would definitely recommend that you buy it straight from Amazon itself and not another third party seller just to be safe. Or at least a third party that's fulfilled by Amazon so you can easily return it if it's not what you ordered. But that aside, let's go ahead and give you a quick tour of the pan. As you can see, I've used it for quite a while. That's where you can see some of the oil and grease stains along the metal edges. But it is a good size pan with a good weight to it. It's about one inch deep. The handle is covered by this rubber silicone material that is insulating the heat. So I never have problems um, feeling too hot when I'm handling the the pan and it also has a hole at the end of the handle so you can technically hang this up if you choose. And on the bottom is a metal that is supposed to be compatible with inductive stove tops though I've been reading some reviews on Amazon saying that it doesn't work that well. I can't unfortunately test this because I don't own an induction stove top. But using it on my electric coil stove top, I have to say that it definitely heats up very quickly and pretty much evenly. I've used this frying pan to cook all sorts of foods from pancakes to stream beans to all different sorts of cuts of meat and it seems to work very effectively. It heats up and cools down very quickly. The one thing I did notice, and it's quite a few people who reviewed this also pointed out, that the center of the pan is actually raised. So what happens is the oil or any water will tend to spread out to the edges and collect on the edges of the pan. Normally you would want a frying pan to be flat, and unfortunately this pan is just not designed that way. I don't know exactly what their thought process is behind it. Maybe they want like the grease to kind of roll out from the sides of meat or something like that. But personally, I would much rather it to just be completely flat. At least it's not concaving inward so that everything will collect in the center. But still, I think they should have made a flat frying pan. And I usually try to take very good care of my kitchen utensils. So before this thing has fully cooled down, I would try to wash it as soon as possible. And so I've used... Um, the soft side of the sponge and some detergent to maintain it for a while and then I realized there's still some grease that still kind of sticks to the side wall even though this is technically a non-stick frying pan but I also do know that I have more of a harder water so it has more minerals than other people who have water softeners. So my tip to you all is if you see that regular dish soap is not really working out for you you can try baking soda actually. So you just use like a paper towel or a microfiber cloth to mix in the baking soda with some water and then apply a little bit of pressure to rub it against the walls of the pan and it tends to work pretty well. So obviously this product is not without flaw. I think there's a lot of scrutiny on Amazon because they labeled it as a professional frying pan and T-Fall is definitely a very reputable kitchen appliance, um, kitchenware brand and because of that I think people have a lot higher expectation for this more of an entry level frying pan in my opinion. So looking at it in that light, I think it's been perfectly adequate for my needs. I'm not a crazy cooker or anything like that, but just to stir fry things every now and then, cook a few meats, you know, breakfast items. This has been more than adequate for my needs. It heats up, like I said, very quickly, pretty evenly. And if you take care of cleaning it and maintaining it, the non-stick surface will pan out. The full disclosure, I have not tried this out using it in the oven. I've only used it on an electric stove top. And I can assume the gas stove top would be fine too. So if you're using it for those simple cooking purposes like I am and you are good at maintaining it, then I think this will last you a good amount of time. As usual, I'll put the product link in the description so you can make that decision yourself.